sex, not having sex because we are. We are. When, when, when the situation where this thing is killing us the future right here. Yeah, this is my kid. This is my eldest one. She's two years old. I've got another one. She's six months. Yes. Six, six months. She's six months old. Hip hop is for everybody. It's for the rich kid. It's for the poor kid. It's for the kid, you know, sniffing glue somewhere. You know what I'm saying? It's for everybody, man. You know what I'm saying? It's for everybody. All I'm, I'm, I'm asking for is that anybody watching this or anybody's listening to what I'm saying is no matter if you're black, white, colored or whatever, man, you know, I don't like labels. All I'm saying is that look at a community, man, you know. We're all the same people. Why are we all living in a different class structure? You know what I'm saying? Europe has got a different government infrastructure, different way they operate all together. Why don't we have that? You know what I'm saying? What makes us different, you know? And race has got nothing to do with it, my bro. Money's got everything to do with it. You know? It's got, that's, that's the thing. They fucked, up, they fucked us up, you know what I'm saying? Nicely, because race is the thing that they... That's the oppression, my bro. That's the tool of oppression, race. You know what I'm saying? That's the ultimate division and religion as well. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not trying to go into this shit. All I'm saying is that we're not a bunch of dumb motherfuckers here in Africa. We know exactly what's going on, and we feel we're being discredited, and we, and we feel like we're getting a raw deal as a hip hop community. Okay, yeah, man. Like I said, this is a this is a hectic, drug infested, gang infested area, man. It's like this is the place where everything goes on. You know what I'm saying? It's it's, it's not really different to any other township. About two weeks ago, a friend of mine is a very is a very good break dancer. He was also a rapper. He got shot. He was killed. To the place where we're going now. What was his, name? Going his name was um, Denzel Duke Swartz. You know, drugs is the reason, yeah. Because you see, the problem is most of the youths here, man. The TV, the television, you know what I'm saying? On the television, all we see is material things, man. You know what I'm saying? And this creates a material need. Because if you have the, the necessary material, if you dress well, if you dress in the expensive gear like the drug dealers do, you get respect on the streets. You know what I'm saying? And, the, and right now, they don't realize that music and what we're doing can provide us with a lot of money and we can also dress like that and we can also live up to the expectations of our parents and the community and society, you know what I'm saying? Things like that, man. So we have, you have a lot of angry youth, you know what I'm saying? And we have a lot of... Youths is just trying to get money their way and it's dealing drugs because right now the drug dealers are the only guys who's showing him who's showing them that this is where the money is at. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Because the hip hop guys on the other end, it's like the way we feel is we are getting the raw deal out of it. Mm -hmm. We are we are not joining gangs. We are trying to do something positive with no money at all. And at the end and, and at the end of the day what we get in the return is a slap in the face. You know what I'm saying? Nobody's even putting up I mean, Cubase, what, is, what does Cubase cost, man? What does it cost to download things from the internet and giving it to us? How much does a computer cost? You know what I'm saying? And yet the government in South Africa is spending money on unnecessary crap like uh, submarines and things like that. You know what I'm saying? We got fetal alcohol syndrome problems. We got the HIV problem. We got a whole bunch of issues, man. You know what I'm saying? It might not look like it right now because we're fortunate to be sitting here and there's no gunfire going on. You know what I'm saying? My kids don't play in this road, my bro. You know, I don't allow my kids. I keep my kids inside. You know what I'm saying? Because you don't know when shit is going to go down here. Yeah. This is a very unexpected type of lifestyle. My friend I was telling you about just went to drink a beer, man. Just quick, quick. You know what I'm saying? And they never came out of their life. You check, we were very close, and it was a guy who was making moves in the hip hop industry. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? In South Africa, and w what happened? And nobody's talking about it right now, only his crew. You know, we're trying to make him live forever. You know? And nobody, the way we feel right now is I'm not the only guy, man. You know? There's a lot of us. This place, Mitchell's Plain, it might be gang infested right now, but it's been like this for years, man. And in those years, this has been the capital of hip hop in the entire South Africa. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And where is hip hop now? You know, nobody saw the potential and nobody invested in us. You know, I'm fortunate to, to, to be the guy going on with this thing. You know, there's a lot of other guys still doing it, but I'm fortunate, but there's a lot of guys who died. 
a lot of guys who went under because there was nobody looking out for them. Mm. It's not like we're looking for handouts or anything, my brother. It's just that I'm saying it's a lot of fun. This is a lot of money flying around into the wrong hands, into the wrong places. You know what I'm saying? And we're not trying to control the money. All we're asking for is, is asking for provision. Man. We're asking for the things we need that we know is going to save the communities. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. When, when, when the situation where this thing is killing us off, 